I've been researching prehistoric Southwest pottery for many decades, and the one pottery type I always come back to that you just fall in love with are the Mimbres pottery vessels, the bowls, because they illustrate life ways and mythologies and the stories and the legends of their time. And I've had the privilege, the extreme privilege, of being in the back rooms of the museums where all this stuff is stashed away. And I've examined not dozens of these vessels, but hundreds of them. And I've recorded the images. And we have everything from Coco Paley to Spider Grandmother and the Warrior Twins. And we have hundreds of them to show you, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hold on to your seat. Okay, we're going to talk today about uh, fishing, hunting, and costumes. And it, I know it seems like an odd combination, maybe, but they kind of go into that. Here's a fisherman. He's caught a whole bunch of fish and a great big fish. And he is identifying with the kingfisher bird. He's such a good fisherman, he thinks he's like the kingfisher bird. He's, this is his little identification. This is probably more a life ways than it is a legend. This little object here up in the corner, this is a fish trap. They'd make these fish traps out of reeds and put them in the streams to catch the fish. This fellow is very proud of his catch. This reminds me of these fellows with their baseball cap on backwards and a beer, can of beer in their hand and they stick the fish real close to the camera so it looks larger. He's got fish all over him. He's standing on a big fish. This is a life ways. This is probably life ways more than legend. More fishing. Now, this is probably a legend. This guy's spearing a great big fish. This is probably more story, legend. I notice you got the little white face, something going on. This is probably not life ways. This is probably fish, uh, a legend. This is four gentlemen catching a fish. Remember, this is the kill hole, this strange thing in the middle. That's the hole in the bottom of the bowl. This is this could be legend more than life ways. This is clearly life ways. Even though this could be brother elder, brother younger, I, I think this is more life ways. We have a fish trap here. And I'm not sure what this object is. It might be the thing they carry the fish home in or something, but that's a fish trap. Two gentlemen swimming with the fish, oh, three gentlemen swimming with the fishes. Fish skeleton. And this, just two fishes. And this is very interesting. These slides are fascinating. I call these my Jonah, the Jonah in the whale. But you see all these fellows that are either being, like this fellow, he has a, he's part fish, kind of like a mermaid almost. But it's more like he, they're emerging out of, I don't think they're being swallowed by a fish. I think they're emerging out of the fish. I don't know, but it's definitely one of the legends. And there again, white face, something dangerous, near death, the cut feather. This is a very good illustration of whatever, whatever uh, legend or myth is being de depicted here. Here's another one, same story, another one, same story, probably the same story. Okay, hunting, we saw this before. This is snaring birds. He set up his snares. Three birds have been captured. Here's a snare that hasn't captured a bird yet. The birds have tracked around, and in Mimbres, as usual, a little bit of humor. Two birds are sneaking off. These are snares that have not been set. This is his canteen. Male person, and he is blessing the snares for a good hunt. A little blessing. And rabbit nets and fences, rabbit hunting. They'd set these nets up across large areas. They found very, very long nets made out of human hair. And then they would drive the rabbits into these nets. This little object here, this is like a little boomerang. They would throw, it's a rabbit throwing stick. They'd throw these and kill the rabbits. There's a rabbit that's hiding. And a fellow that's fallen down during the chase. You see this little mantle of authority, the staff. This is the fellow that's in charge. And we have the bear hunt. The hunter's face is in white because he's doing something dangerous. He's near death. He's dispatched mama bear in the cave. Missed with that arrow. Missed with that arrow. 
And we have a broken arrow over here. There's another. Well, these are great. I really love. Here's going one on one with the bear, hand to hand. He's tracked around. He tracked that bear a long way. This is one I really like. This is where the hunter has killed the, uh, the deer. And he's giving it a blessing. He's got his hand on the deer. He set his bow down. And he is blessing or thanking the animal. They'll do this. this the Pueblo Indians or the, the Mimbres Indians, they would they take something from the environment, they thank that uh, animal directly. And that's what he's doing. And that animal will, will then resurrect and be there to hunt again in the future. Here we have, now this is where the hunters start to take on either the animal uh, identity or they are disguising themselves as an animal for the hunt. Here we have a guy hunting probably turkey. He's following the turkey, but he's got his disguise on. He's got his little, he's disguised as a, as a deer. If you've ever been out in the environment much, you notice that animals aren't really afraid of each other very much, unless they're eating each other. But you'll notice that the, the ducks and the rabbits and stuff, the, they'll walk right under standing deer. The, they, so a lot of times these guys will disguise themselves as other animals. Now here we have a hunt. This fellow's dispatched an antelope, but they have turkey headgear. This, this guy has turkey head on. This guy has a, a little antler costume on. And here we go again. Here's the turkey, and here are four people with turkey heads. Now, is that an identity or is that actually a disguise? It's, I think some, you know, there's, there's both things going on. It depends on which depiction. I'm going to show you some costuming next because there's a lot of costumes depicted in Mean Bray's art. Fascinating topic. And it kind of goes from the hunting either identity or an actual costume, actual disguise. And here we go. This is an armadillo with a deer head costume. This is some sort of story. Here's a fellow with rabbit ears. We see rabbit ears quite a bit uh, in combination with animal combinations and costumes. Now here's a mountain lion. I haven't done mountain lion yet, but mountain lion always has the tail over the back like that. And this mountain lion has a deer costume on. Now, one of the elements of the costuming that I always see in Mainbury's art, the costume itself is separated by a line normally, like this. Here we go. See this tail section on this costume on this fellow? See how there's a, a negative space? If you see that, you know it's a costume. And I'll show you several examples of that as we go along. Here again, this is a bat costume. See, that? see the negative space? Every time it's a costume, and don't forget, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of examples of these. You'll see that negative space. This is a very famous vessel here. This is a snake. Somebody dressed up in a snake costume. And a very human legs and arms. This is definitely a costume. But you'll always see that negative space. Okay. Uh, notice the extended eye on this one. This is uh, like a parrot costume. I see this extended eye on other examples in other ways. It's very interesting. A little basket on his back. And we've seen this, these before. This is a this is a brother elder and brother younger. The warrior twins. These are the warrior twins, and the, basically Brother Elder is cutting off Brother Younger's head, and then Brother Younger is resurrected. This is several different versions of what happens in this story, but what I really want to show you is the costume. Brother Elder is wearing a Quetzalcoatl, the plumed serpent, costume, as he does this ritual killing of Brother Younger. That's the Quetzalcoatl costume. I want to I want to stick together a whole series of slides on Quetzalcoatl images because there's quite a few definite association with Mesoamerica and the Aztec. Now, these are a mystery. 
I'm going to bump to the next one so you see how many of these we have. Look at these guys. The same is, this looks very much like a tadpole, but see, all, the legs are very human. This the original smiley face here. Let me go back and look at the first one. What are these? I've seen no, more than a few. There's always this sort of central, kind of circular, and then the two legs, and then the extension. But what is this? It's repeated all over the place. What is it? This has four legs coming out. I don't know, two individuals on this, I don't know. I have no idea what these are. This one has some night imagery. Checkerboard is the Milky Way or Starry Sky. Pathway of the Warrior Twins and other gods. These are undoubtedly stars. Crosses are often stars. So this has something to do with, this could be the moon. These are a mystery. This looks like a tadpole, but these are really a mystery. As many images as I've seen in, in Mimbre's art, and I've seen quite a few, I, don't, I have no idea. Uh, it could be a costume. It, uh, I have no idea. There's a lot of variation. There's, well, there's always eyes. We can go, we, okay, let's see what's common. Always two legs, always the extension, always eyes. Anybody watching this, if, if any of you have any idea what these might be, please give me a, put it in the uh, reply section. I'm, I'm fascinated by these. These are fun. The Mimbres images we saw today were painted between 1000 AD and 1280 AD. And if you want, there's a lot more of them, and we're going to have other, uh, other videos you can see. But if you want to get a copy of the book, Mimbrae's Mythology, there's a lot of these images we're going to be showing. Uh, just email me, and the address is in the uh, description in this video. It's just kunkel uh, at hotmail.com, C-U-N-K-L-E. And just email me, and I'll, I'll sign a copy and make sure you get it. Thanks for watching today. Give me a like, if you like.